Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is my monthly favorites of March. I can't believe it's March already, but at the same time, why isn't it May? Okay, so my first kind of favorite category is going to be songs. There are two songs this month that I just have not stopped loving. My first favorite song of this month is Trampoline by I Don't Remember because I don't remember. This song is extremely extremely catchy and every time it comes on my Pandora I just like freak out because I just love it. Don't think I really like the subject matter necessarily but I like the song so there we go there's a win. My second favorite song of this month is Bill's by Lunch Money Lewis. Good yawn. That song is just so catchy and I love it and I like every time it comes on I just crank up my volume because I can't listen to it quietly and I just jam straight out and I love it and I, I love the fact that it's like not about sex and drugs and like booze. It's actually about like hey I got bills to pay and that's what life is. Hi kids, welcome to This Is Life, you have bills. My next favorite thing this month is a book and I don't read. So if I enjoy this book and couldn't put it down, then that's saying something because I don't read. I hate reading, I can't read. And this book was such an easy read and you just like go through it so fast, I love it. Um, and that is Shane Dawson's book, I Hate My Selfie. It is so good. It's so good. And I, it just opened my eyes to so many different things that, like, I maybe didn't think about. Um, and, like, seeing what he's gone through, I don't know. I just, it's such a good book. And if you don't have it, please go get it and I'm not being like ugh, just go just go buy this book it's so good it's so good oh my god sticking with media um my favorite movies slash well my favorite movie of this month that came out this month is Into the Woods it's a musical um I did it my junior year of high school fell in love I went to go see it with my cousin uh over Christmas break loved it it's by my all-time like favorite director Tim Burton um it's got Meryl Streep in it and Anna Kendrick and Johnny Depp and so many other people and it's so good <sighs> it's so good if you haven't watched it even if you're not a musical fan just watch it for the sheer amazingness that it is my next favorite of this month is another musical but this one is not in movie form um, I went to go see my high school perform the show Tale of Two Cities and the author or the playwright came and I got to meet her and talk to her and she's so nice and oh my gosh I love her to death. Um, Jill you rock. Um, but this show, okay, <sighs> the show is amazing to begin with. The songs in it, insert like some kind of vocal audio right now. Um, and then on top of how well written and amazing this story is my high school uh, granted it's a high school show so like most people are like oh it's high school it sucks no they did I'm so proud of them oh my god they melted my face off like I was only going to see it two nights because I wanted to see each cast because we double cast. I had to go a third night because I couldn't stop. Like, I'm obsessed. It's an obsession. 
I'm in love. I love all of them as humans and as my babies and just, oh, uh, I am one proud mama. My next favorite category of things that I love this month will be TV shows. After I had binge watched all of American Horror Story, I had to find a new show, so I started watching Breaking Bad. I had watched a fir the first few episodes back when they first aired of the first season and then stopped watching. I don't even remember why, um, but I started from the beginning and I'm up to season, like halfway through season three, I think. Um, I loved the first season. The second season, eh, third season, I'm really not loving. So if you watch Breaking Bad, please tell me, like, should I continue or does it just suck? From like season three on because I'm I honestly considered stop watching it I don't know is it just is it just a bad season what is it I don't know let me know tell me in the comments don't ruin anything just tell me if I should continue or not I feel like I should but then again I feel like I shouldn't let me know keep me updated the next show that is my favorite for this month is the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt I think that's what it's called um, it's a Netflix original I had seen commercials all over like on demand and on TV about it and it looked like a good show but I was like I don't know but I watched the first episode I watched the entire season in three days they are only a half an hour episodes and there's 13 of them so it really doesn't take you much time to watch but they're so good and there's so, I think she's so funny like I think it's a really funny show and like it's she meets this like gay black man and he is just so funny and he wants to be on Broadway and it's just amazing. My third favorite show this month has to be Dance Moms. Not Dance Moms, which I, I have been watching Dance Moms since the very first season. I love Dance Moms, but Dance Moms. There is a UK version of Dance Moms. <laughs> watch Dance Moms in the UK like it takes one of my favorite shows and my favorite place and just oh, I'm so in love with that show there's only been two episodes out and I've watched every both of them they're so good and I just love them and I just want to cuddle my next favorite kind of category this month is going to be like beauty-ish Another thing that I found at the dollar store is Maybelline New York's Color Show Nail Tattoos. So let's see if we can take a gander at that. Um, this is the financial district. It's all like money on it. Um, I also, I have the Skyline ones, which are probably my favorite, but they're in my room. Um, if I haven't used them yet because I'm so scared to use them because I don't want to screw anything up but if you want me to try them um, and make a video and show you and review them let me know in the comments because I will do it for you I do it for the people my last favorite thing of the month is my favorite YouTube channel now this is someone I know personally and I love with all of my heart um, their channel is Brandon Biano. He does, oh, his drawings are on point. Like, he is on point. Um, but he does speed drawings, so I will leave a link down in the bottom so you can go check him out. Please do. Please subscribe. Um, he is so talented, and he just started, so really go show him some of that support, because because, yeah, I told you to. Go. Just do it. Uh, hopefully, I was talking to him the other day. Hopefully, uh, him and I are going to make some videos in the future. Um, and you get to meet him on here. On this channel. On my channel. Yay! Anyway, guys, I hope you liked my March favorites. Um, lots of media stuff. Not... 
I forgot food! I forgot my favorite foods! <laughs> okay, so this month I have two favorite foods that I have just been eating nonstop. First off, bagels. I love bagels, but I only love two to like three types of bagels, depending on what day it is. My favorite bagel ever is plain. Then I like the cinnamon raisin ones most of the time. Sometimes if I'm feeling really adventurous, I'll go for a blueberry bagel. But I love bagels and I love cream cheese and I like the bagels with the cream cheese with the toast. The toasted bagel with the cream cheese. <sighs> the next thing that I am obsessed with are these. These were found on my spring break trip with my cousin when we went to Acne and bought nothing healthy. They are the mint flavored candy cakes by Tasty Cake and they, oh they're winter exclusive. That's a problem. <laughs> These are so good. I have one pack left and I have been saving this pack for the past like two weeks because I don't want to eat the last one and have to go buy more. So I'm holding on to the goody goodness. Oh, they're so good. If this could be my diet, it would, it tastes like a Thin Mint. It's so good. Don't go buy them though, because I need to buy them all. I just need them all. That's it. I'm done. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my March favorites. Please like and comment and subscribe because that really helps me out. If you're bored, make sure you follow me on my social media because why not? And I hope you have a great day and an amazing week and I will see you next week. Bye. Come here, Jenna. Say bye. Bye. Yay. You weirdo. On Wednesday, March 25th, 2015, Zayn Malik decided to leave Wonder. Um, doom, 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 doom.